So this is what I'm going to show you how to make today. Uh, this is the Tyvek with Angelina fibers and film bonded together. I think it's a, a fun way to make it and uh, you can add it to your art pieces. Now the Tyvek is um, a, syn a synthetic uh, paper and they use it for home improvements um, when they're making your house for waterproofing. Um, and these are what the beads look like, wrapped in Tyvek. I use a single wire. They're a little bit more challenging in advance, so I'll do another video to show you how I make these. I just use a single piece of wire, makes the loop uh, for you to hang, and then I have a the tail that's got a knot on it, and then little tiny beads strung throughout on the wire. And the wire is about uh, anywhere from 10 to 12 inches, 24 gauge, depends on how long the bead is. Like this was about uh, 12 inch of wire, and this about 10 or 11 in comparison to the size. But I'll make the I'll show you how to make the beads on another video. Um, I'll have to show you how to make the uh, wire wrapping first. As far as the bead goes, they look like this. And I just I wrap the the bead that's already been shrunk like around a metal rod. And then I get this, but that's another video to share. Today we're just going to go ahead and show you how to bond these pieces together. And the way you paint your uh, Tyvek is up to you, or how big you want it to be, your choice. These are just ideas. Here's a piece where I used the Tyvek uh, in a ocean scene, and the sides all have Tyvek on it. A little shadow box that I'm making as a diver in the background. So there's a lot of fun you can have with it. Angelina film. So I have some different color Angelina film. And different color fibers. And I use um, the melting pot because uh, with the melting pot it has the controlled temperatures and that allows everything to uh, bond together without taking the tie bag and shrinking it down too much. So what I do is I go ahead and after I paint the tie bag, I put it inside this melting pot and I know it's going to be really hot so I'm going to bring it down a little bit. And once I remove it from the melting pot, I'm going to put it on this weight because that will cool it down. And then I'll uh, press it with this marble block so that I can press it down. So we'll go ahead and start to... Once I have it the way I like, I'll go ahead and press it down. And that's what it looks like. Now what I'll do is 
So I'll bring it all the way down because I'll let it shrink just a little bit more. And with the embossing powder, what I do is I melt it in the melting pot and then I just take a little bit of piece instead of using the powder. And I'll go ahead and put that back in. I'll lay down the embossing nugget. And then I'll layer some Angelina fiber down. And Angelina film. I'll bring this up just a little bit. And I use this crochet um, stick because I like this head on the end of it. And then I'll just press it down. And if I feel these are starting to shrink, I can control it by bringing it up a little bit. And all I'm doing is just melting it down. Then I'll put it back on the weight and lay it down. And that's it. That's how I bond the fibers together. There it is. Pretty quick. Hope you can use that tip. Now I'll go ahead and show you how to do some other things with the Tyvek paper in another video. So I hope you come back. Stay safe. Stay crafty. God bless. Soto's Creative Corner saying goodbye for now.